Right, um, we've got Chirp up and running. This is an old computer. By the time it loaded up, I had a bath, had a shave, cut the grass in the garden and came back in again. A new version is on, of Chirp is online. It always prompts you for that. But I'm going to put cancel. Oh, it cancelled it for me. Right. Oh, no, it's come back again. We'll cancel that because it will take me too long to load it back up again. Right. <laughs> right. There's the radio. Uh, this is a microphone socket here where you can put an external microphone but the programmable lead plugs into that and that's into the laptop right now what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on okay that's on happy days right, I'll put this right. anyway let's just go up to the software up here it says radio so you click it and it says download from radio. You click that and hopefully it will work. And it comes up on here it says, let's see if I can zoom in, I think you can see that. But basically it tells you your COM port, the Bofang and the model number that you've got, which is a UVR5. You click OK and it says cloning. And the radio, you might see the little red light there, I'm not sure, but it's flashing. And now it's reading on the radio what's on this thing, basically. And it should come up on the screen with all my frequencies. There you go. Um, all you need to do then, really, is to edit or to put your own frequencies in, or you can copy and paste frequencies. Uh, there's an app called Repeater Book, which if you download it, it gives you all the frequencies, the inputs, the outputs, blah, 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 blah. And basically you can then uh, store your frequencies. So if I just make this a little bit bigger for you, I'm sorry, this, this tripod is horrible, but there you go, needs must. Um, it's a bit creaky and then you can just type in um, like I've got Blanford Weymouth Isle of Wight blah 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 so then you would put your frequency there the name of the repeater the tone you can have a tone that's going to be the tone itself this is going to be your plus and minus and then it's the offset which is the same for most of those um, FM obviously power high power which is five watts I believe on the uh, on the radio so that's it basically once you've done it I won't do it to this because I've already got it in you go back up to radio say you've put all your frequencies in that you want to put in think right I've done it now what do I do you go up here where it says radio and it says upload to radio and then you can literally upload it the light on the bow fang there will flash green and it's then putting all the frequencies to your radio that's how simple it is um, there is also resources on here um, if i can find it upload from data sources which then will give you repeater book so on there's repeater book and that will give you a list of all the frequencies and you can just literally copy and paste them in. So you don't even have to fill this thing in. You can just copy and paste them straight into it. That's how simple the software is there, Mark, uh, to use. It's certainly better than pressing the buttons on the Bofang. I've tried that way of doing it. It's a fucking nightmare because every time you get to a certain stage, it fades away and it's a lot of buttons to press to try and get a frequency in. Um, but using the software, honestly, it's a godsend. Um, so I hope that helps you anyway if you do get a bow fang. All right, mate. Cheers and beers and 73s.